Hey guys, so today I'm going to be taking you through just how to make a basic shape and then laser cut that out using Adobe Illustrator. So first thing I'm going to have to do is find Illustrator. Cool, opening that up. Now remembering that like a few programs, this does take quite a while to open up. Um, so yeah, just make sure you persevere with that. One of the benefits of Adobe Illustrator is when you open up a new file, um, you do get quite a few options. So it, it does change like a few different things. So choosing one of those, but I generally just leave it on custom because I'm using it for a pretty basic purpose right now. So um, we'll go basic um, shape. Okay, so using this for a very basic shape here. Um, make sure your unit, so the def default um, the default measurement for this is pixels, okay, um, so we want millimeters though, okay, um, and then everything else is basically fine, so it's giving you quite a big board area, um, way more than we're actually going to need, so that, that'll be fine. Um, so it'll give you a nice blank palette, just like that, or canvas I should say, palette, that doesn't make sense, palette's up here. Um, so what we want to do though, we're just going to use a few different tools. So the, the tool I've got at the moment is the selection tool uh, and the direct selection tool. So if you make something like a uh, rectangle, okay, so then you've got your rectangle, you've got your selection tool that'll help you move it around, okay. Your direct selection tool, see it's got these points, it helps you, whoops, sorry, if I use the direct selection tool, it should help me just move the points um, so I can move that and I'll alter the actual shape of it. Um, like that, okay. Not very good for um, generally what I do. So all I actually generally use it for is quite accurate shapes and stuff. So I don't want to be moving things organically like that around um, and making it inaccurate. So yeah. So we'll get rid of that by just left clicking and then pressing delete. Um, so what I actually want to do is make a circle. All right. So I'm going to make a yin yang. Um, so if I hold down my left click onto the rectangle tool and then you move across and release it once I'm upon the ellipse tool. Now, like it says, ellipse, so it's not actually making a circle. And if you know, know what a yin yang is, it's a circle. So if I'm going like that, it's not exactly what I want. So, but if I click once, it'll come up with my width and height. Okay, singular click. Um, another way you can also do this is um, to make it a little bit more accurate is if you click and then hold shift, it makes a perfect circle for you as well. Okay, but we'll go through that afterwards as well. But first thing I'm going to do is singular click. Um, it's going to be quite a big one. We've got 80 mil by 80 mil. Now to move between those, I just press tab. And then once I've got both of them, I can press enter. All right, so once I've pressed enter, um, it's not quite in the middle of the page. So I'll use my selection tool and I'll just move them up in the middle. Makes it a bit easier. Um, down here, you can also um, zoom in a bit and stuff. So I'll zoom in a little bit. There we go. Makes it a bit easier to um, look at what we're doing. Um, so next step, what I'm going to do is using the same ellipse tool. Um, and you can, it's kind of like Autodesk Inventor, which I'm a little bit more comfortable with. Um, it does have snap points that you can snap to. So I'm going to snap to this anchor point here, hold shift as I click, and then open up until I, it tells me, yep, you've made it to the middle. So see that? It's told me I've made it to the middle. Um, we'll do the other side as well. So anchor point in the middle, left click and shift, and then go into the middle again. So that's not looking too fantastic at the moment, is it? does look anything like a yin yang. But it will take shape, guys, don't worry. So now if I go to the selection tool, uh, we want to left click over here, drag a box over the whole lot. Now that's selected everything. So you'll see up here, you've got a few different alignment tools. Um, and the one I generally use the most is actually the align centers. So now all the centers are aligned of what I selected. So that's what we want there. Um, now you might sort of see that yin yang coming along there, but we need a few more ellipses. So we're going to have it snap to the center here. I'm going to do one single click, uh, 10 mil by 10 mil. Enter. Um, now, do you see what that did then? So that's working from that top anchor point. It's actually moved it down again. Okay, so if I can, I can also move it up though. And it'll go to that point there. So I haven't actually found a way around that yet. So I've still got to go from the, I can go from the center anchor point, left click. Okay, and it's still going to move it off center because it's going from that top center point and moving downwards, just like when we selected up here 
and moved our circle down on the angle there. So now if I move it in the middle, I don't want the intersection, I want the center. And there it is. Cool. So we've got that basically set up. Um, now what I want to do, I want to use this uh, different tool over here. So what I actually do is highlight everything. Um, over here we've got this tool here. It's called the Shape Builder tool. And um, that's going to let me morph shapes together. So if I click on that, it'll let me select different shapes just like that. So if I left click and drag, left click and drag, and then it morphs those shapes together. Okay, so I, I could have um, tr used the trim tool, um, just like or the erase tool, sorry, I should say. So the erase tool, and that to get rid of it. But that's a lot more organic and easy way to actually do that. So now I want to do, I want to actually get the selection tool, click off of it. Um, so that way, so I'm making a yin yang. I mean, and it's important on our specific laser cutter, I cannot do this um, in black and white. Okay, so I use one of my favorite colors. I like that blue color there. Um, I'll select this one here as well, make that also the blue color. Um, and that's basically it there. So I know that's 80 millimeters in diameter, and then the rest of that's all a nice, concise measurement as well. Um, we're almost done. So first thing I'll do, after always finishing something, I always save it. Um, uh, CAD 3D printing, I'll save it under that. Uh, make a new folder. Uh, laser cutting basic shape. Cool. Uh, and we'll save it in that. So we're just saving that as the Illustrator file. Okay, and then our laser cutter um, is quite a basic laser cutter, to be honest. Uh, I'm going to go save as. Um, now I've got to save it as an SVG. So that's saving it. I can't remember the acronym for that, unfortunately. I'll have to get back to you on that. Um, I might add it in on the video editing. So we'll save it as that. Okay. All right. Now it's important not to go to the compressed file because that does compress the actual image as well, and so it's very hard to actually divvy up things. So I'm gonna, I'm going to want to um, engrave that section and that section, and it makes it a lot more difficult when it um, is black and white and or compressed because it'll just want to select the whole image. So now I'll get back to you with what the laser cut looks like.